an episode of uh, Product Frame. Today we're going to be covering a form builder uh, type form. So uh, we're going to, you know, look a little bit at the product, try it out, uh, think about competitors, think about the core features, try to break down the product and, uh, you know, see if they're missing anything, see if it is the best form builder. Uh, so yeah, so basically Typeform is, is one of the many uh, form builders and I think uh, it's pretty clear, it's, you know, from their landing page that the their how they differentiate their brand is through you know the kind of UX and design. And I think you know, people recognize Typeform because they you know they've probably used it and it has a certain uh, kind of minimal uh, nice flow to it, uh, simplified kind of design to it that I think people have you know you actually know that you're using a Typeform so. I think they've succeeded, you know, at making design and UX their kind of competitive advantage. So, uh, yeah, so I went ahead and created an account. And uh, so we can look a little bit at the inside of the kind of form builder. So basically the core feature is this is this right here, which is their form uh, kind of studio builder. So, you know, it has what you'd expect. You can kind of, on the left, you're kind of building your questions. And on the right, you can kind of see the uh, the design preview over here. So, uh, yep. So you can, you know, add different questions like you'd expect, like you can add a, uh, you know, multiple choice, uh, <clears throat> short answer type question. Uh, and like, this is pretty interesting. I didn't know they had this until I actually came. So you can actually take payments, uh, through Stripe. So, you know, the basic problem that these form builders solve pain point is, uh, you know, in the past, you'd have to hire a developer to actually build a payment form or even, you know, custom inputs. And, you know, it's kind of a really repetitive development task. And so, uh, you know, they kind of standardize that component of your website so you can, you know, plug it in, plug these form builders in. So you're kind of getting a cheaper uh, and a little bit simpler to use, like, visual builder for a form. Uh, and so, yep, so, you know, here you're adding questions. Uh, here you can add image or video, adjust some of the settings. So they keep it, I think, you know, you can see overall they keep everything as simple as possible and, you know, as straightforward uh, for kind of non, you know, developer type audience. Uh, so this is, you know, their theme. So this is what they call themes, which is basically the you know, the foreground color, background color, and the fonts of your form. And uh, yeah, and I think one of the UX type issues that they they really focus on is each view uh, has kind of only a single question on it, right? So you if you've ever used the type form, it's kind of, you're moving through questions, but each screen is very simplified, like like this, where you're only seeing one question, one answer, and then it shows you the progress down on the bottom right. So you can kind of see here, you know, I can change around my my uh, uh, kind of theme here. Um, and then these other features are a little bit more obscure. Like th this is, I guess, this is the logic jumps. This is how, how do I set up, you know, if then questions, like if they say yes, go to this question. If not, go to that. So you could build a more complicated full flow here. Uh, calculator, which is kind of like, you know, do I want to give a custom quote? I guess I could collect, you know, their square footage of their house, you know, certain questions and then automatically calculate a price. This is, do I want to get email notifications when they respond? Uh, and these are some settings like that, you know, a lot of the stuff they hide is here. So like, um, you know, what button to use, how to format certain things. So probably validation, like show, uh, you know, was this completed, was it required, things like this. So this is kind of the form builder. Um, and up here you can kind of publish your, your form. Um, and here's my kind of account. And uh, so then when your form's ready, the next thing you want to do, right, is maybe uh, connected. So here they have a bunch of integrations with like, you know, you could put all your results into Google Sheets, Slack. So they have, you know, all the major kind of SaaS type tools here that you can connect to. Uh, and then this is your, 
um, you know, how do I embed my form? How do I link to my form? So uh, here I can copy a link or I could embed it, you know, as a full view or like a window inside my view so I can put it inside my website. So, um, and this should be, you know, fully responsive so I could open the form on a, you know, desktop tablet. Um, and finally, um, this results tab is where I can see you know, it's actually pretty simple. I, I thought they might have something more advanced here for the analytics. So this is kind of just showing me, um, you know, which questions were answered, what was the completion rate. I mean, I think this is interesting, this beta feature here, which is basically where did people drop off? So like, let's say they only finished the first couple questions. Is there maybe, uh, you know, I'm not sure if they give me here, like, incompleted uh, surveys because that would be interesting too like if you could get the data without having to com submit the form so um, so this is kind of where you could look and try to optimize your form right so I think they made it pretty simple here because they could be giving you a lot of analytics on like you know how do I improve my form where are the drop-off rates you know are my questions too long do I have too many questions because I think when building a form it's a lot about you know your funnel like how it fits into your marketing funnel your sales funnel so you know you might only want one question and maybe these more complicated forms aren't actually really better than the, the simple forms for actually getting results so so I think this feature is pretty simple actually it's like you know just show me the results um, but it's what you'd expect and it all looks really nice so um, so I thought you know, it'd be interesting to look at a few competitors uh, to see, you know, how Typeform compares. So, um, another thing, their site isn't super fast. <laughs> uh, but, um, so I looked at two other other competitors, which are kind of uh, very similar features. Um, so we have Wufu Form, which is now was sold to SurveyMonkey, but you can see here their pricing. So it starts at 15 a month and their pro is $30 a month. And it also has collect payments. So the features are pretty similar. I think like the the, the form builder is a little, is different. And uh, um, I'm going to switch to monthly. So it's actually 40. And they do this a lot. You'll notice on these uh, form, uh, these kind of SaaS, they bill monthly, which is more, or bill yearly. So it's actually $40 a month for their um pro plan so see here like this one is you know 50 and they they also price on typeform by response whereas they don't really describe here all the plans but they also do by response so it's almost the same uh, so the other thing that they're kind of giving you with this form is they're giving you kind of storage, right? Because you're you're if you're going to upload video or images into your form, then uh, that's part of the plan. But you're basically getting five thousand responses on both of these. So Wufu is just slightly cheaper, forty dollars versus fifty. And then the third one, Jot Form, um, is actually pretty significantly. Well, it's, it's almost the same as Wufu, but you're getting double as many responses and 100 gigs space. So, and they also have a free plan, which is interesting. So, actually, out of these three, Jotform is the best deal. But you can see, like, there's clearly a difference in the brand and the uh, like the templates they have. Um, the, the job form is a lot more, you know, basic looking type form that you would, it's not so, it's not such a unique experience. And like, what's not clear is how much different the conversion rate is for, for a type form versus a job form. They don't really tell you, like, there's no stats on that. That would be interesting data to see, like, does the type form UX actually improve the you know, the rate of completion, or does it not really matter? Because then you'd be better off going with a cheaper form builder. So, just some interesting things, and I think, like, you know, making forms is a is an issue for a lot of people, and I think they're, it's a pretty useful tool, so 
you know, it's a pretty big market. Uh, but um, yeah, Typhoon is a pretty nice product. And uh, yeah, if anybody has used it or has any feedback, uh, leave comments, uh, subscribe. Uh, we'll talk to you next episode. Peace.